107.9 The Mix, Central Maine's Variety Station. I'm Mac Dixon, joined with Gretchen Nickerson in our studio, former Kennebec County Teacher of the Year, fourth grade teacher at the Helen Thompson School in West Gardner. And boy, you guys are having fun taking part in the Winter Kids Program. What's that all about? It's an awesome program. It's put on by Channel 8 News, and a lot of local businesses support it, such as Hannaford and Subway. Mm-hmm. It's really to promote healthy eating, um, nutrition for kids, and also physical activity. And yeah, long to get outside months. in the winter, oh, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean we get the we get the no sunlight. You know, mm-hmm. it's such an early hour, and um, and we just know that it's proven that the better you eat, the healthier you can stay for sicknesses sure. and. Just to get outside is just a really good way to keep yourself more positive as well. And how are the kids taking part? What do they do? So, four weeks. It's a four-week program. 32 schools across Maine are chosen, two from each county. Okay. Week one was physical activity and science, sledding and snowshoeing and just we had guest speakers each week. Like that week, two state police came to talk to the kids about outdoor safety. Okay. And then week two, we had like nutrition and math. We had a big cook-off, how to make fun foods healthier. The best highlighted thing about this whole experience is that my school, Helen Thompson, came together and we just had so much fun <laughs> working together and so much fun for the kids. Also, just the district. Um, I have to give a huge shout out to uh, Russ Anderson over at the Gardner Middle School who brought his STEM team over. What so, does STEM stand so for? So STEM, if people don't know, stands for science, technology, oh, engineering, okay. and mathematics. There you go. Perfect. And they got to see a 3D printer. Um, they got to play with little robots, you know, with an iPad. So really yeah, getting just, everybody involved with all kinds of different oh, things. Yeah. We went with fourth grade, went with pre-K, and all the activities that Russ put together were perfect for every age. And even it, adults had fun. Gretchen Nickerson, fourth grade teacher at the Helen Thompson School. Kids taking part in the Winter Kids Program. And music a big part of this too, right? I was thinking Winter Carnival. Mm-hmm. <laughs> every Winter Carnival has to have a band. Yeah. So I got a hold of Dave Walker and his mm-hmm. band over at the high school, Gardner High School. <laughs> and the band, they were the talk of the school that day. I mean, kids absolutely <laughs> loved it. Oh, I love it when the, all the kids can get involved in like that. Now, the Winter Kids Program, when does it wrap up? It wraps up this week. Okay. We'll, we'll wrap up on Friday morning doing a couple of rap, laps around the school um, and just have a really good time because we just, I keep telling the kids that we've, Definitely put the win in winter kids, oh, no matter perfect. where we place. Um, <laughs> and if they do win, what uh, Well, what there's like first there? place wins $5,000. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's quite the, yeah. That'll definitely help things out. Second place is 3000 Third place is 1500 But then there's several, several other prizes well, this year. Well, thank you for doing all this. This is great. Well, thank you for having me in. Oh, and absolutely. I just love teaching. And I just, you know, it just we just got to keep, you know, keep the positivity in the classrooms and... And the school. Good luck well, with thank the, uh, the you. final results. Hope thank everything you goes. so much. Sounds like so much fun for all the kids and the whole community. The Winter Kids Program at the Helen Thompson School in West Gardner. Fourth grade teacher Gretchen Nickerson. Now, the other thing we wanted to talk about, we first got together, what was it, three years ago, yes, right? Yes. Your son, Austin, had a tragic accident. What was it, in Chicago at the time, right? Correct. I just could not believe the outpour of businesses and people who supported us mm-hmm. during that time. We had to build an addition on our house. I was driving down to Boston every week to see him. He was I in remember the everything you were going months. through. Yeah. People asked, how are you to do stay positive every day? How do you do this? And it wasn't just how I was doing it. It was because how we were doing it as a community. And now three years later, Austin is doing awesome. Yes, he's <laughs> And actually, Austin's in the studio with us uh, as well. He's a walking miracle. Yeah, really. It was so, so inspirational. Yeah. You want to pull the microphone over there, Austin? Yeah, I got lucky, but also I had uh, I really had to try, and Mm -hmm. I got a lot of help from a lot of people, so, as well. And you're hoping to keep that inspiration going, Of course. Yeah, Yeah, I never stop with anything, because I was, I couldn't even say a simple sentence, like, my name is Austin. I couldn't say anything, couldn't walk, I couldn't use my left hand. Well, you sound fabulous, and uh, you look amazing. You really do. Thank you for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. We are 107.9 The Mix.